Hello and welcome back to another Mountain Blade Warband video. As usual, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure to put any comments, questions, or any kind of like information you want to get from the game down in the comment section below. I do read them all, I will get back to them. First of all, a little bit of an apology for the lack of content recently. I've been absolutely non stop at work recently, so this is the reason why I've not been able to kind of edit and kind of get the content out there but i have been recording gameplay i have been doing stuff so don't worry there will be stuff coming out and like i say before if you want any guides want any kind of questions answered in a video or anything like that please make sure just to put them down below um very big thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers and all those that are continually watching and commenting it's brilliant it really does cheer me up I've had a lot of long days at work and um, I've been trying to respond to as many questions and comments as possible whilst I'm at work. Uh, but just doing that, but seeing the channel actually grow a little bit more and more is just brilliant and it really does help me try and motivate me to continue, keep going, uh, create as much content as possible. But like I say, um, <laughs> at the moment I've been non stop at work, even though we're about to go into a lockdown again in the UK. Um, my work is actually an essential job. So therefore, I actually won't be uh, won't be having a month off. If I had that month off, obviously I would have been just cranking out uh, gameplay for fun. Now that I've got the actual uh, proper gaming computer here. So as I said in recent videos, I was actually starting a new campaign story mode uh, in the game due to getting the new com computer and not really being able to transfer across the uh, the gate same gate save gameplay. Um, so. That's why this title is going to be, for this series really, is um, how to create a uh, strong Nord uh, Kingdom. I am trying to do the best I can with potentially the worst kingdom in the game. Um, obviously they have the best melee unit, but apart from that they don't really have much else. And with the gameplay that you'll see coming out from the next few episodes, this is very clear to see that it is very difficult to uh, get the Nords going, but at the same time, um, it is possible if you try and obviously help lead them and try and churn out as many victories as possible. Uh, the biggest challenge I've found so far is being able to continuously um, get the lads trained, joining in like battles. Uh, to get their XP so I can then obviously get these trained up to elite forces and then the bigger objective trying to actually keep them forces alive because like I say they don't exactly have the greatest units in the game to kind of coexist with the best melee unit in the game uh, the archers they're all right they're not the worst but they're not brilliant at the same time um, and until you get your Nord Herskulls um, to, to you know obviously to your most advanced point it's not the greatest uh, greatest kingdom to work for so this episode here is a bit more of a kind of chill out episode so um, you're going to watch a lot of battles a lot of kind of messing around well I'll say messing around a lot of trying to sort out um, a, a proper party as the Nords are currently at war with the Swadians and the Vegas. So we got our two closest neighbors at war with us. Uh, this doesn't exactly help situations, especially um, as the Swadians and Vegas are obviously trying to raid as many villages as possible, which makes recruitment really annoying. And I, yeah, at points I, I will be trying to make things happen uh, in later episodes that really I'm trying to overstep the, the boundary and take some risks. Uh, some pay off, some don't, but it got some good content as well. But like I said before, folks, please make sure just to obviously keep enjoying the content. Put any comments that you want down below, any questions, anything like that. Um, the, the more that you guys watch my content, the more it helps the community to grow. The more that the videos are actually seen by everyone, the more that you know it, it spirals there from even more. And it just gives me even more motivation to carry on. Uh, it really does help out and it does obviously help my uh, boost my kind of my mental state as well that I do feel like the channel is actually going somewhere and that it is actually relevant even though obviously Mountain Blade is a old game there's still a lot of people that are finding it now because obviously it's cheaper now um, 
and it's it's still a really really good game to play it is really addictive still i will still at the moment like i say i still favor this over ban lord at the moment so like i say just watch as much as you can folks it really does help out make sure to hit like subscribe share and all that type of stuff thank you
So if you have made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed the content, even a bit of a chill video. Make sure to, like I say, hit that like, comment and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And watching as many minutes as possible of the content also really helps to grow the community and get it out there. Thank you very much.